brown Christmas. It's the most magical time of the year. Everyone is in the holiday spirit. Well, almost everyone. I think there must be something wrong with me. Shani Brown says, Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy. I like getting presents and in car decorate, decorating trees and all that. But I always end up feeling sad. Shadwee Brown, you're the only person I know who can take a wonderful season like Christmas and turn it into a problem. Maybe Lucy's wrong. All of the Chanwee Browns in the world, you're the Chanwee Brown asked. Chanwee Brown decides to talk to Lucy. She gives really good advice and it only costs us. So I can't take out five cents. This means sense. I just don't understand Christmas, Chanwee Brown tells her. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of wet down. You need to get involved to a real Christmas project. How would you like to be the director of our Christmas play? Me, a director? Shadwee Brown is surprised at the suggestion. He knows nothing about directing, but sounds exciting. He agrees to meet you at the square run. On his way to the dorm. Charlie Brown sports a dog in a way, carrying a box of Christmas ornaments and lights. He watches as Snoopy carefully decorates his daughters. Snoopy has entered a contest to win money for the best neighborhood Christmas lights and this one. My own dog has gone come I gone and Brown groans. I can't stand it. Next, Charlie Brown is stopped by his sister. Shadow Brown says, what is happening? Will you help me write a letter to Santa Claus, Big Brown? Shadow Brown begins to write down everything Santa says. Dear Santa Claus, Santa Claus. How have you been? I have been extra good this year, so I have a long list of things. But you can make, make it easy. On yourself. Just send money. How about tens, tens and twenties? Shiny brown sigh. Good grief. When Shiny brown finally arrives at the podium, the cast is waiting for him. Okay, let's have quiet. Poise is anybody action. But no one listens to him. Schroeder starts playing his piano. He plays. And everyone starts dancing. Nobody cares that Charlie Brown is directing. Nobody cares about the play. They just want to dance. Charlie Brown feels even worse than he did before. This Christmas play is always wrong. Lucy tries to make him feel better. Everyone knows Christmas is just a time of year for people to buy stuff, she says. But Charlie Brown disagrees. This is one way that is going to be different. We need something to set the proper mood. We need a Christmas tree. That's it, Lucy exclaims. We need a Christmas tree. A great, big, shiny aluminum tree. You go, and, you go get the tree, Shani Brown. I'll take Linus with me, Shani Brown says. The rest of you can practice your drawings. Lucy is excited about the Christmas tree. Get the biggest aluminum tree you can find. She orders. Maybe paint it pink. When Shani Brown and Linus arrive at the Christmas tree yard, they are surrounded by fake trees. Some are plastic, some are aluminum, some
I'm going to paint different colors and even have polka dots. Mine is not on one of the aluminum trees. Do they still make wooden Christmas trees? He wonders out yet. Meanwhile, Charlie Brown is starting to feel sad again. None of these trees feel right to him. Then Charlie Brown sees it. A teeny tiny green tree. He smiles. This little tree seems to need a home. This doesn't seem to fit the modern spirit. But Charlie Brown suddenly, suddenly feels better than he has in day. We'll decorate it and it will be just right for our pot. Besides, I think it needs me. He picks up the tree. Needles tinkle as they fall off this tiny tree, making it even stronger. Charlie Brown is still smiling when he returns to the door. He gently places the tree down on Schroeder's piano. Veered back, he announces. Everyone rushes over to see the tree. They're shocked and disappointed. You can't even see. At Charlie Brown's choice. You were supposed to get the good trees, he declares. Can't you even tell a good tree from from a poor tree, everyone agrees. What happens next is worse to fall. Everybody starts to laugh at Charlie Brown and the widow tree. Even Snoopy. Charlie Brown feels sadder than ever. He turns to Linus. I guess you were right. He says I shouldn't have picked this widow tree. I really don't know what Christmas is all about. He pauses and looks back. Brown. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? He cries. To his surprise, it is Rhinus who answers. Sure, John Brown, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. He walks to the center of the stage and says, Lights, please. Somebody dings the lights in the podium. He puts his Sing spotlight on Linus. In a clear voice, Linus begins to speak. And then the uh, well, sheep heard everything in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And the angel of the year came upon them and said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you things of great joy, for unto you is born this day a, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And there was with the angel of a new land of the heavenly most praising God, and said, Glory to God, peace on earth, earth will to men. Everyone is as the Linus finishes. That's what Christmas is all about. Charlie Brown picks up his little tree and steps outside. He looks up at the dark sun, sky full of twinkling stars. He finally feels happy deep down inside the way Christmas is supposed to make you feel. Linus is right, he says to himself. I'm not going to let everyone else's grief spoil my Christmas. I'll take this little tree home and decorate it and show everyone it, it really will work in our play. John Brown passes Snoopy's fully decorated book. Snoopy won first prize. He takes a shiny red ornament off the doorhouse and hangs it on the widow tree. But the ornament is too heavy and the widow tree topples over. Charlie Brown is horrified. I've killed it, he cries. Uh, everything I touch gets ruined. He walks away sadly with his head down, leaving the widow tree alone. After Charlie Brown leaves, the others find the tree. I never thought it was such.
such a bad little tree lioness is. He wraps his blanket around the tree's base. It's not bad at all, really. All it needs is a little love. Without saying a word, the other kids began taking the decorations off of Snoopy's doghouse and putting them on the tree. It doesn't take long for them to transform the little tree into something magical. When Charlie Brown returns a few minutes later, he can can't quite believe his eyes. First looks at Snoopy's bear doghouse. Then at the beautiful tree. What's going on here? Then he looks at him. Their faces are all shining with joy. Merry Christmas, John Wayne Brown! They shout. And before John Wayne Brown can say any word, they start to sing Christmas carols. Charlie Brown smiles and starts singing with his friends. He knows it is going to be the best Christmas ever.